Hello guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to connect Java and Beans with MySQL. Ok, so let's get started. Open the MySQL. Use the database which you have. I have. Inside the database you usually have tables. I have a one table uh, with me. It's is the table name DEPT which has three columns DEPT number, DNAME and LOCK. Now our purpose is to connect this one table through Java database connectivity in NetBeans. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, So start NetBeans. This is a project explorer window. I have these much projects with me. Now uh, go to file menu. Click on new project. It's simple Java, Java application. Next. Name it as uh, like mm, get it. See. In the project explorer window, we have created a project namely get it and uh, uh, all we need to do is click on this get it, new and jframe. Name it as connect pin. Any name you can give. Now, here is our Java form. Okay. So this one is the palette. You have to uh, see. We have to connect this one table, which has uh, three columns in it. So uh, we'll use a J table from here. Uh, here from the palette. See this, this one. Drag it here. Design it properly. Now see. We need three columns, but by default there are four columns and four rows in it. So we'll have to shape it for that. We'll go for the properties of J table. Here. The property is called model property. Model property, click here. Title name. First title is DPT number, D name, lock. Any title you can give. Okay. Now this fourth one is extra so minimize it mm, here delete now uh, finish the rows to zero columns to three okay click okay see here we has got our table which has no rows rows will be inserted automatically when it will be connected through java net uh, mysql okay so uh, Let's uh, let's design a button, J button, here. Okay. Now name this table as C one. Okay. Now, are you ready to uh, start with the coding? So here it is. Click on source. This is a source window. Without moving the uh, cursor, just press enter and right here on the very top, right, import Java dot SQL dot star. Basically, you need to import these uh, SQL components. That is SQL dot connection, SQL dot dri uh, driver manager, SQL dot statement, and result set. These are the four main basic uh, things needed to connect Java with NetBeans, uh, with uh, MySQL. Okay, so we just write, uh, wrote that star to eliminate the whole problem. Other things we need to import is import java x dot spring dot j option same. One more thing is needed that is uh, <coughs> Menu, click on 
double click on this fetch data nothing you have to do just double click in it your cursor is here right now ok press enter all the coding you have to write here cause you have to trigger some action and I have used a J button for that ok so uh, write, uh, start writing the coding default table model you have to be very careful by writing the coding because java is very case sensitive ok default table model name the model as model equals to default table model default table model the name of the table was p1 p1 dot get model here is the error Now you have to uh, uh, do this try catch block. Okay, one very most important thing uh, you have to keep in mind while connecting the Java with uh, MySQL is you must have a MySQL J connector in it. Without that, the connection can never be possible. So uh, you should have it in your library. See, I have the project get it. So in this project get it. Uh, its library should have that folder see there is no mysql connector j folder so i have to add it add jar right click on libraries add jar or folder i have it on my machine on um, documents uh, um, see this one open now see this one has been connected here it's not connected it's a jar file you have to uh, insert in it without that the connection is never be uh, possible okay so uh, this file is under the description and you can under the description okay so let's go through the coding to establish a connection between java net beans and mysql okay if you are having some problem in this syntax then there is an option just go to services services there is a database expand it and here new connection okay host is localhost port is 3306 Database is memnation. Username is root SQL. That's it. Click here. Show JDBC URL. See. You can copy it from here. Uh, here is the Derby, but I have used MySQL. I don't know what is it, but you can do it whatever you want. Okay.
put uh, semicolon inside also and outside also. Inside is for that MySQL and outside is for this NetBean syntax. Okay. So execute query. Which query? We have to this. Uh, this string query. Okay. Result set RS. Now, all the query result has been stored here in RS. You have to just take it out now. How to take it out? Uh, uh, you should use this syntax. Use, you should uh, use this looping instead. Right? While rs dot next string string b1 is equals to rs dot get string. You have to write the column name. The first column name was dpt number. Right? to rs dot get string d name okay string d three is equal to rs dot get string here name be lock that's it as we had three columns so we have to write this so Inside this loop, you have to write this thing. The default table model, it was model, right? This model, so right here, model dot add row. Each time the loop execute, a row is been added in it. This one. Uh, new object make an array bit like this so right here d1 comma d2 comma c2 analyze this coding very carefully okay let me check to see it's right now your coding will be executed after that you have to close this components rs dot close close that's it and inside the exception stack exception right here J option table dot show message dialog is this comma uh, error connect to YouTube. Okay, so that's it. You are done with the coding. Let's try the luck. How it goes? Run. Set main project. Get it. Ah, see it. It's been connected with Java. Uh, MySQL. Okay. Run it. Click on fetch data and you have got it. See it's been connected with MySQL. 